I'm Todd with SoundPure Recording Studios, and today I'm going to talk about all of the multitude of ways that you can set up these Lynx Aurora converters, depending on your needs and your studio's configuration. The Lynx Auroras have an incredible sound quality. They're very neutral, they're very clean, and extremely detailed, which is why we've selected them for the SoundPure Recording Studios primary recording converter and all of the great sounds we've been able to capture here have been through these amazing converters. Through the back of the Lynx Aurora converters, whether you're talking about the eight channel, the 16 channel, or the variable trim model, you're able to input an LT card. These expansion cards do not come standard with the unit unless you get one of their bundles. The standard operation is through the AES connections. Outside of the AES connections, which are always in operation, you can use their expansion port to provide USB connection, Firewire, ADAT, MADI, and like at the SoundPure Studios, HD. The LT expansion port provides extreme flexibility because you can set your Lynx Aurora to pretty much interface with just about any piece of audio equipment out there. That includes laptops, desktops, as well as a multitude of audio components. It's user serviceable, although at SoundPure we'll even swap one in and out for you. This is the unit that we're using in our mobile rig. The USB card that we have currently connected on this particular unit connects directly to a laptop where we're able to get eight channels of 192K 24-bit audio streamed right to a Pro Tools rig on a laptop for mobile location work. Firewire also works extremely well and works very, very similarly for any laptops or computers configured with a Firewire port. These Auroras talk directly to our HD rig, and by utilizing the LT expansion slot with the HD card, the Auroras look just like a set of 192s to the HD rig. Analog ins and outs of the Lynx Aurora 8 and 16 with D-sub connectivity allows a breakout cable such as this to be used to connect to any sort of audio equipment. In this case, we've got female connectors on the back end, so this would typically be connected to the output of devices such as mic preamps, summing devices, EQs, compressors, whatever you wanted to connect to your Lynx Aurora. And the simple D-sub connector allows eight channels for each plug in one direction to be connected to the unit. So in the 16 channel configuration, we'd simply have four of these connectors on the back, two of which would be dealing 16 channels of the outputs, and the other two would be dealing with 16 channels of the inputs. And depending on which connectors you choose, that'll determine your connectivity with the units that you have. An alternative to the breakout cable such as this, which has eight individual stems, we could use a device such as this, which is a really ingenious patch bay, and that's what we're using here at the SoundPure Recording Studios, which is all D-sub connectors on the back. A number of mic preamps in the SoundPure Recording Studios, such as the Phoenix DRS-8, as well as the True Systems P8, allow for direct D-sub connectivity. So when using preamps like that, you could either go directly into your converter, or you could go through a patch base such as this, using what's just a straight D-sub to D-sub connector. No fan, no breakout. Thanks for watching. I hope that understanding a little bit more about how these Lynx Aurora 16 connections connect to our recording studio give you an indication of just how easy it could be to build your own recording studio around the 16s and a D-sub configured patch bay. Obviously, all of us here at SoundPure are ready and willing and eager to talk to you about your recording studio and help you configure the perfect combination, be it patch bays, auroras, wiring, that'll make your studio the easiest and most creative it can possibly be to use. Thank you.